What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV, and today is a very special day because I am in Texas for the Bronco Off-Rodeo. Now this is the dealer preview event, and uh, the event that's going to be available to the consumers, which is actually bigger and better than what I'm attending, uh, is going to be starting very, very soon. But in today's video, I want to do something that we've never really done before, and that is comparing this particular vehicle to this one. You got a Badlands versus a uh, Wild Track, and I'm going to kind of go over the differences between the two vehicles, uh, because if you haven't quite placed your order just yet first off you probably should have if not um, hopefully this video will help you make that decision what is the better suspension components and the better trim level for you and that is coming up next on town and country tv but before we go any further shameless plug i do want to let you know about our new merch drop we've got the tc customs shirts going on here remember everything that you guys purchase on tccustoms.com gets you an automatic extra entry into the bronco sport that we're giving away and the more of you guys that participate in that maybe we might be giving away something like this if we can get enough of you guys to participate so without further ado hit up those links down below and we will jump right into the video let's do this i'm going to focus in on this badlands first so let, let's take a look at that first off i want to showcase to you now the reason that the doors are off on the front first off is because we have actually been off-roading actively in these vehicles and so if you haven't already done so check out the other videos on our channels that showcase the bronco it's absolutely awesome and before i go any further i do want to say a huge thank you to everyone in the bronco nation and the bronco Bronco Off Rodeo for the unbelievable hospitality. You guys have been fantastic and have opened doors for us that we could not have opened ourselves. So if you guys are watching this video, thank you so much. And no, nobody paid me to say that. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about the suspension itself. And before we talk about the suspension, we'll talk about the wheels and tires. So the Badlands automatically comes with a set of 33 inch tires. Um, technically, they're LT28570 or 17s. And uh, as you can see, it is a Goodyear Wrangler tire with no Wrangler written anywhere on the outside of the tire. I think that's pretty cool. But as you can see, it is a MT tire, a mud terrain. Now, what's cool about the Badlands suspension system is you get all of the goodies. If you are looking for like one of the best suspension components on a Bronco for the 2021, you might want to consider the Badlands. And let me tell you why. So this one does not include the Sasquatch package. You can option with it with a Sasquatch package, but it doesn't come standard. Just remember that, we're gonna talk about that here in just a second. But what it does come with is the premium Haas suspension. Um, you've got all the GOAT, not all of the GOAT modes, but you got most of the GOAT modes right there into the system. And the other thing is, is gonna be the automatic stay bar disconnect. I have to say stay bar because I keep saying sway bar and I know that's not right. <laughs> I just keep catching myself every now and then. But um, this vehicle does feature an independent front suspension system. And a lot of people that are off-roading, oh man, they, you can't do nothing with an independent front. You are full of crap because I just experienced it. And it is wild what this independent front suspension can do, especially when you disconnect that, uh, that stay bar. So very, very cool stuff. And it also happens to handle very, very well uh, on high speed roads as well. But the main thing here is you get the stay bar disconnect. That's what you're looking at on the Badlands. If you're curious about how the sway bar disconnect works in the new Ford Bronco, which by the way, right now that is only available on the Badlands in first edition, but this is actual setup that showcases how this particular setup works. So this is a typical sway bar with the exception of this component right here. This is the actual disconnect mechanism. And what happens is you've got each one of these ends is tied into the front of the vehicle to make sure that it doesn't roll. It's a sway bar, if you will. And what happens is when you press the button inside the cab, if you're going less than 20 miles an hour, it will automatically disconnect and it allows these things to pivot, as you can see right here. Okay. Now, when you go back and have it locked back in, when you're doing on road driving or when you speed up above 20 miles an hour, you don't have the ability to twist it. That is pretty much all of my, it is locked back in. And that's what's so cool about this setup is not only that it disconnects, but it naturally disconnects and naturally connects. So you can literally be flexed out completely on a vehicle or on a rock. The vehicle can be flexed out on a rock and you hit that button and watch what happens. It automatically lets go when you hit the button, when you locate. It's, I think it's fantastic technology that Ford's put into use. And I can see this going a long, long way in uh, applications even outside the Bronco. Now let's talk a little bit, something that's not as technical. Let's talk a little bit about what you got going on on the front end. Carbonized front grille, you've got the white 
emblem for the Bronco. And I do believe that this is a early pre-production model where the bull bar is actually covering the Bronco. Ford has re-engineered this to be up a little bit higher so it doesn't block completely the Bronco logo. Hey, we got some, we got some Broncos going on in the background there. It's a party here in Texas. <laughs> So good, good stuff here. Now, I, I don't want to get into the full detailed walk around of like, hey, what is the, you know, the, the trail sites and what, a, you know, I, I kind of want to get into the difference between the Badlands and the Wild Track. So with that being said, you already kind of know what's going on with the suspension on the Badlands. Let's step over here and take a look at the Wild Track. Now, the biggest difference that you're going to have with the Wild Track is something that I mentioned a little bit earlier. The Badlands comes standard with that premium Haas suspension, but it doesn't come with Sasquatch. The Wild Track automatically you get the Sasquatch package. So with that being said, you're getting yet again another set of Goodyear MT tires. Um, and just as far as how they've handled and how they've done on this off-road course, they've not really had any issues. Now you can see that these, these vehicles are actually being used. Look at how uh, the tire has handled. And this is like some serious rock crawling. Um, I mean, the, these things are not being baby. Let's just leave it at that. But this tire is a 315-70R17. Obviously that means it's wrapped on a 17 inch wheel. This one also gets the premium Haas suspension system, but it has got this, the, uh, the um, Sasquatch package, which makes it about an inch and a half, I believe. So the biggest difference that you're gonna get is going to be taller suspension, no stay bar disconnect. Smaller suspension lift, but with the stay bar disconnect. So that is gonna be the biggest differences between the two when it comes to the actual suspension itself. Now, I, I wanna show you guys a little bit on the inside as well and what you're looking at here. Now, the first thing you'll notice on the inside of the vehicle, this one has got a multicolored seat. So you got, as you can see, this is, I believe the Navy Pier is what they're calling that. Um, and uh, so what you've got is, it's not nearly as blue as I thought it was gonna be but the wild track comes with a certain color key inside of the vehicle. As you can see these blue accents, that is a telltale sign that this is a wild track model. Now keep in mind, these are all pre-production prototypes. So if something doesn't look right, that's probably because it isn't right. Um, so just don't, don't, don't light us up for that. But notice the blue accents throughout the vehicle itself. That is going to be the telltale sign that it is a wild track. Now I wanna pop over here to the interior of this Badlands, show you what we've got going on over there. Now this particular vehicle is upfitted with the marine grade vinyl. That's gonna be another big difference that you get is marine grade vinyl is available in the Badlands. It's not available inside of the Wild Track. So this marine grade vinyl looks more like leather than anything else. I mean, it's a very good quality uh, vinyl. And you'll also notice the orange accents all throughout the inside of the vehicle. The orange accents is a telltale sign that it is a Badlands. So if you don't have the ability to see outside or don't have the ability to, to look at the sticker on the outside, you could just look at the interior color and know right off the bat what trim level you're looking at. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, once again, I don't wanna talk about the walk around. I wanna talk about the differences between these two particular vehicles. And uh, that's gonna be this marine grade vinyl. And by the way, when you get the marine grade vinyl, it automatically comes with the wash out floors. So as you can see, you just pull up your floor liners right here. You can open up the plug and literally wash it out, which is crazy because that's what they're doing over here on the backside where they're cleaning these vehicles between every single run. It's wild how cool of an operation this place is. Another couple differences between these two particular vehicles are gonna be the grills. I kinda started on this Bronco Badlands and then got distracted, shocker, I know. That's because I'm six foot three. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, you can see this particular grill is painted black versus that carbonized gray molded in color. I guess it's a molded in color front grill on that Badlands. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is the actual styling or the graphics package. You'll notice that the Wild Track does have an available graphics package, which has got the graphics running down the side of the vehicle. You've also got some graphics on the hood of the vehicle as well. That's not available on the Badlands. So it's something that you need to realize. And I can't remember if I talked about it already, so I'm going to talk about it again and that is going to be the painted mirror caps. I think it's nice that you've got painted mirror caps versus just a normal hard plastic on the Badlands. Now here is one big difference and this is why I'm going to make a video and I haven't done it. I've been teasing you guys for far too long but talking about my specific spec on what I've got ordered for myself 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you a heads up. It's a Badlands. So I'm going to make a dedicated video on it. But the reason that I chose the Badlands is because this vehicle has the rock crawl mode. So there's two main reasons I selected this vehicle for myself personally is because it's got the stay bar disconnect and because it's got the rock crawl mode. So that's a pretty big differentiating factor. Whereas on this vehicle, since it doesn't have the rock crawl mode, um, it's got just a sport mode that replaces it. So it's very interesting now, but it's kind of cool though that both of these vehicles do have a Baja mode. So I think that's pretty neat that this one has Baja mode and this one has Baja mode because realistically, this one is designed around the customer that is wanting to go high speed off-roading. This is more that person that might be going off-roading or wheeling and, you know, just slower speed kind of off-roading. But you could also double down and use this in some high speed situations. So very interesting to note. So there you go. That is all the difference that I'm, oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Oh, I almost forgot one. This one, because it has the Sasquatch package, has got no rear crash bars, whereas the Badlands does. I thought that was interesting. So apparently all your Sasquatch vehicles um, are going to automatically come with no crash bars in the rear. Um, so make sure you check out our channel, subscribe to the channel, because we're going to make another video that talks about the differences between a Sasquatch and a non-Sasquatch. Like what's the difference between these two vehicles? So uh, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, and now I do have to tell you guys this as well, man, check out the Bronco Nation on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, I'll leave their link down below. I feel like I need to give them a plug for their channel primarily because they have given us access to these vehicles that I would not have had access to uh, outside of this. So a huge thank you to the Bronco Nation and Bronco Off Rodeo. So yeah, there you go. That is our video talking about the differences between the two. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments down below, smash that like button and make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace!